to Maggie Bot, and uh, this will be the segment I submit to Blender this week. Um, Board Game Blender is a Dice Tower contribution collaboration type thing, and I do a few minutes for it every other week. Um, I've been meaning to put them up on my channel, so this is my three and a half minute segment. Um, sometimes I might do a longer version that goes here if I don't get everything that I would like to say said, but this week, because of time constraints, I will just leave you with what I posted there. Um, this week is Fantasy World, so we're going to talk a little bit about fantasy and how it works in gaming, like what I like to do. Um, if you have not seen my Twitter, I am also looking for a next Ask Maggie video, so if you have any questions that you would like me to answer on video, please ask them below or on Twitter or wherever, um, send me a message and I will get to those. But for this week, this is my uh, Blender segment about fantasy worlds and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Maggie Fott. Thanks for watching Blender. I'm sorry I missed last week. If you're looking for an amazing collaboration, my go-to is always going to be Rococo. That's Matthias Kramer and the Malls Brothers. It's amazing. It has an expansion coming out. It's in print. You can't, can't, can't miss that game. Coco's amazing. This week, though, we're focusing on fantasy worlds. Now, you all know that I like German strategy, European-style games. Those are a lot of trading the Mediterranean, buying and selling stocks, that type of game. Why don't German strategy games feel very thematic? I would say that they do feel thematic, but they tend to be based in reality. They tend to get produced from things that you would inherently know, so the rule book doesn't need to spoon feed you a lot of theme or world building. It can get right down to the mechanics. An okay, excellent example of that is Walnut Grove. Um, we've all read Little House on the Prairie. We understand what they're doing and why they're doing it and where they are. So I don't actually need Walnut Grove to tell me anything about the theme because I understand it inherently so it can get right down to mechanics. Some games do a better job of this than others. You have games like Race for the Galaxy, which has a lot of theme, has a whole military system, has a science system, an alien system, but you don't feel that while you're playing the game, which is why San Juan, which is a very similar game, feels more thematic. Though, you have examples like 51st State and New Era from Portal Games doing a really good job of making you feel post-apocalyptic, like you're struggling for every last resource and there's nothing else and you're warring with these guys next door and they keep trying to blow up your stuff and they take your fuel and it feels post-apocalyptic, but they're rare that they do that. I think one of the best things that a European strategy game can do is base something that we all kind of understand already and then make a fantasy twist. Uh, my favorite of these that never got a lot of attention was Mermies. Mermies is a worker placement game where you play an ant colony. So you're warring with other ant colonies and you're building ant uh, hills and you're having larvae and you're trying to complete these goals. It does a good job of something you would understand by looking at it. However, you've never been an ant and really don't know their struggle, so it's interesting and new and fresh. And of course you have the big guy. You've got your Terra Mystica where they don't ascribe what kind of fantasy you're going to play before you play. They let you choose. You have a big open world and 14 races and then you get to pick whether or not there's cultists in this world or engineers or dwarves or witches or nomads. And the fantasy elements come through based on your choices, which is always a strategy game thing. Um, and lastly, you have games that have a pretty interesting story like Luna, which is in print now, um, but don't do a really good explanation of why or how. Um, in Luna, you have a moon priestess and she's walking between the aisles. You have the acolytes working to get into the temple and you have a council of priests, but nothing ever really comes of any of those thematic elements. They're all based on the mechanics and where you need to have things at a given time. I love fantasy worlds, but I would much rather have strong mechanics than a strong theme, so maybe this isn't the week for me. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time.